Hello and welcome back to another episode of On That Grind in GTA Online. Today I'm going to be starting by attempting to sell my full nightclub in this lobby. Yes, that is right. There are people everywhere in the city and we're going to be selling a full nightclub. But first, let's spin the wheel and see what we can get. Come on, car. Could use a new car for the garage, you know, maybe customize it. Oh, that might actually be kind of close. Maybe. No, it's not. It's not even close. Never mind. 40k, though. Not bad. Let's get to this. Just called in my Grotty Brioso 300 to get over to the nightclub. You know, because why not? We got police alleys everywhere. We're heading straight into, like, the depths of this. Might die immediately. There's so many cars in the way. Made it to the nightclub without crashing even once. Let's go. This car is amazing. As you guys can see here, we got 1.5. Five million dollars worth of goods to be selling here and that is just going to get better if we can sell it with the high demand bonus from this lobby i am definitely scared this is going to be an intense sell mission but let's go ahead and start it i think i'm gonna maybe wait till we get around the vehicle and then activate some ghost org or something not sure oh my well, and we can get a cash bonus, apparently, uh, if we do not damage the vehicle too much. But damaging the vehicle, kind of like the least of my concerns. Let's just go ahead and wait till the global signal is about to activate. And then we'll hit up Ghost Org. So we got 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, okay, we're going. Going Ghost. I should probably waypoint... Whatever one's closest here. Oh my gosh, we literally have to go straight into the depths of everyone. We have to take this right into the heart of all the fighting. Uh, can I even... I can't even use uh, sticky bombs out of this. I think we'll have to rely on the missile battery, maybe? I don't know. This doesn't seem like it's going to go well if I have to rely on the missile battery. And what is this camera angle? I do not enjoy this. But we're going to try... We'll uh, shoot missiles at anyone who looks scary. This yellow guy has no idea we're coming. Oh, what did I hit? I hit a curb! There was nothing there! Absolutely nothing there. I think we're good, maybe? I don't know. Where does it want it? Just right here? Okay, there we go. We got the first one down, since we're kind of safe there. Where is... There... There's only one spot in the map people are, and it's there. And that's our next one. The game is just telling me to go around to where all the players are and do my drops right next to players. Oh gosh, Ghost Org is about to end and to make things worse, there is a player right here. Hey bro, how's it going? How's it going? Please don't turn around. You saw nothing. He saw absolutely nothing. He thought I was just an NPC, right? It's definitely a reliable strategy to pretend to be an NPC by crashing into people. Oh my gosh, that was close. Okay, we're gonna make this drop before even worrying about the helicopter that's slowly approaching. Right? It's definitely not here for me, right? Who would come in a helicopter to attack someone, right? It's always like a Mark II or a jet. Please? Please, no helicopter? Helicopter, please? The helicopter's shooting at me, guys. The helicopter's shooting at me. Okay, it missed. Maybe it wasn't going for me, it was just firing random rockets. People do that, right? All the time. Uh, it's definitely not turning around, right? No. Please. Doing some off-roading here as we approach the final drop. Hopefully not going to get this stuck anywhere. Because there's a lot of uh, just props and places around this area that you can easily get vehicles such as this stuck in. And apparently we can't break that either. Oh gosh, are we stuck? No, we're not stuck. We're fine. It looks like we are actually going to have a successful sail mission, guys. If we can just back this thing up and put it into the yellow ring we get a bonus of 6,800 from the game from not damaging the truck too much even though let's be honest we crashed into quite a bit of stuff I, I mean I was definitely prioritizing speed we had to go right up to so many players let's see how much the high demand bonus is oh my gosh 1.7 million and that is on top of Tony taking a hundred K oh my gosh let's go we just made bank how many people were in here it won't even let me pull it up. 22 people. We just sold by myself a, a solo nightclub sale, solo max sale with 22 people in the lobby. And we got paid 
for it. Let's go on to the next grind. For our next grind, we are going to be taking care of this blue dot. We're just going to be transporting this vehicle. Did someone already uh, take out the guys? Usually there's uh, guys here, and usually they fight back, but I guess we can just take it this time around. I have no idea why uh, it was like this, but let's not get stuck on a body immediately, please. Okay, we're going to head over 1.7 miles away and get a little bit of money for it. Let's do it. That actually took, like, practically no time at all. I was not expecting the mission to go by that quickly, but here we are delivering it. We had a very boring drive. Nothing happened. No one tried to stop me or anything. Doesn't really surprise me. I mean, not too many people are interested in those. Mission passed. And we're not even going to see how much money it gave me. Uh, is it actually not going to tell me? I, I feel like usually it would tell me. Uh, we shall never know. <laughs> We shall never know. No clue how much that just gave me, but I'm gonna guess it was around 10k, but let's get on to the next grind. Next up, we're gonna be doing a RC Bandito time trial. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can get this done. Uh, I think the first thing I remember is that we don't actually go around the rock like the arrow guides. We wanna cut in a little bit early, and then we gotta do the same there. Watch our speed. Oh, that's why you gotta watch your speed. I, I think I even mentioned that in the video to watch the speed and then what do i do i don't even watch my speed i don't even take my own videos advice guys oh gosh we really should be watching speed why is everyone running why are the npcs running why are there even npcs in time trials it confuses me so much we're actually making pretty good speed right now oh this part's scary scary okay we're good we're good watch out for these bars here because we don't want to face plant into them we're doing good Stay on the path, maybe, for a little bit more traction in the rain. Uh, not enjoying the rain right now. Kind of wish we were doing this without rain, to be honest. But it's all fine. Oh, gosh, what do you mean? What do you mean, 10 seconds? What do you mean? We're nowhere close. We're nowhere close. No! Oh, wait, we did it. <laughs> did you see us just flipping in the background? Oh, there we go. There's 100k. For the next grind, we're going to be doing the standard time trial in the Grotti Itali RSX here. And the rain has not yet gone away, so we're going to be dealing with that for a little bit. Uh, it looks like it might be clearing up, though. I'm not 100% sure. But we got to go pretty fast. This one's like over three miles away, and uh, it's mostly speed related. I think the only thing that could really get me would either be the slippery roads from the rain... Or the NPCs. We were going too fast there, and the slippery roads are already dooming us a little bit. We lost a little bit of time. Oh my gosh, the NPCs are really dooming us. Okay, let's just go. Let's go. We, we can recover. We might have just crashed twice on one intersection, but I'm still feeling confident. I'm feeling confident that we can do this fast. I don't know if I want to follow the waypoint completely either. Especially, like, uh, with other players in the way. I mean, I would go right through them. But you never know if they left a vehicle, uh, <laughs> we're getting some air now. If they left a vehicle parked or something, because those would still be solid. Or, you know, like, have cops in the middle of the road. I'm just going to keep straight on this path. Uh, get some more air there. I don't know if the air is actually good or not. I feel like we might be able to keep more speed if we don't have air. I could be mistaken, though. I don't know if this is the best path to take up, either. I just know there's a lot of turns here, a lot of small turns, a lot of uh, places where we can catch air and easily spin out, not to mention NPCs around like every turn. But we, even with all of our crashing, we still might be making decent time. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I feel like we're not doing like completely terrible, if uh, that says like anything. Like, I don't think we're good in it, though. We're still, like, 30 seconds off. And it's still quite a bit away. Not to mention the roads we're on right now are a little bit more difficult to go fast on. Uh, actually, I think we made it. What the heck? Wait, we crashed, like, so many times. And we had so much time to spare. I guess that's just one of the easiest time trials. It was raining... We crashed into a bunch of cars, and we still were able to make it. 
So let's go on to the final grind of the video. To wrap up this episode of On That Grind, we're gonna be hopefully being the first to get over to this kill list. I was actually gonna head down to the city and see if I could find something else to do there, something nice and fun. But uh, then as I was leaving, this spawned like basically right where we ended the last one. And it looks like the rain actually stopped as well. So that's kind of nice. Or did it stop? I think it did, yeah. So let's go ahead, grab this buzzard. We'll have to sit in it for a bit, and then we'll be a fighting. Kill us is about to start. No one else wanted to hop in the buzzard here with me, but that's fine. I don't need any help. I mean, it would have been kind of nice. Uh, can we go? Oh, that took a moment. I guess it was just spawning in the enemies. Let's uh target this heli first. The first couple waves are like very simple, and then it goes to like extreme just shortly after. We just have to watch out for their missiles. That'd be the only thing I'd really be concerned of. Okay, how did that hit, actually? I didn't think we had that one lined up. Oh, it's over here a little bit. Chase this one down. That missile definitely didn't look like it was going to hit, though. Especially with an angle like that. Okay, that was way too close. I do not like being that close. Just keep myself weaving a bit. Okay. Oh my gosh, we just barely dodged that. Just barely. Oh my. That was about to be the death of us right there. Okay, we got the ground units. The ground units in this, like, unless you get, like, really close to them, can't do anything, do you? And it's kind of, uh, ridiculous that they even try to implement them in this. Like, we have to get kind of low to lock on, though. I mean, I can try to free aim, but it ain't realistic. Oh, what the? <laughs> that curve. I was trying to free aim that one. Okay, let's get this. Come on, launch the missile. Oh, he actually dodged. Oh, what? <laughs> Why can I not lock on to this one? Oh no, I'm doing I'm doing what exactly I just warned of, and I'm getting too close. Might have to uh, put on some armor, eat snacks or something, I don't know. Just because of how I was playing that terribly. Oh, they actually dodged that? Are you kidding me? You being serious right now? Oh, couldn't get an angle. Ugh. Still couldn't get an angle. Okay, let's fly away and then fly back. I mean, we only have eight minutes. As much as I would love to sit here and mess around with them, we need to actually get an angle on them. The hard part is when they start driving like that. Okay, come on. There we go. That should get them. Yes. Good. Finally. And now let's take out these guys. Where are they? They shouldn't be able to really dodge the missiles, as long as it has, like, a pretty good lock on. Uh, except for, like, there, I guess. We also don't want to shoot our car. That's where I parked the car. I do not want to have to pay for that. Oh, what? I didn't even kill all the, uh, the enemies. Oh, well. Oh, my. What the heck? Why was that guy so much more accurate than, like, all the other ones combined? Where is this alley? Oh, there it is. It was blended in with the scenery. Okay, it just dodged those like a pro. Uh, I want to keep an angle where they can't shoot me. But at the same time, i got to watch out for the missiles. Oh, we can't get an angle. Okay, I'm backing away from this one. I got too close. That's my bad. I was not playing that smart. We should have this one here, though. No? Okay, they actually dodged. Oh, okay, this is bad. This is actually kind of bad. We have to unpeak for a bit. Watch out for the missile! Oh, okay. 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 Maybe we can take out this guy just while we're dodging missiles. Yeah, okay. We got three of them behind us. This is not ideal. We want them to be a bit scattered. This is definitely not good. Do I have any body armor that I can throw on just so I can maybe tank them for a bit? Gotta dodge these missiles. Okay, I'm doing a turn. That's so many missiles! Can we at least get one of them? They already tore through the body armor! Oh, I don't know what to do. Oh, I usually kill, like, at least one of the helis, so I don't have this problem. Guys, I actually don't know what to do. This is too many. It's too many! They just are spamming rockets at me! Oh my gosh, I'm just barely dodging these! No! They're cutting me off! I have no health! They're gonna kill me! Oh my gosh! This is insane! We only have five minutes. I'm putting on more body armor. Oh, no, we got to dodge. Okay. 
Okay, okay. Okay. Do I just, like, start free aiming? Or something? I don't know. I can't get, I can't get, like, at a good angle where the lock-on, uh, tracking for the missiles will realistically hit them. And I have to keep doing these wide turns and stuff. Okay, we're going in. We're going in. Nope, nope, nope. Should not have gone in. Should not have gone in. Oh, no. Oh, no. More body armor. More body armor. More body armor. Going back with the missiles. Hit! Please! We're about to start just crashing into them. Oh, we're so dead. We're so dead. We're so dead. How are we even still alive? That's what I'm wondering. Okay, we got to dodge missiles. Oh, I cannot multitask right now. Okay, we got four minutes. Okay, I'm going to try to get some distance. Maybe take them to, like, a place that they have trouble fighting it. Like here? They have trouble with these, right? Like, anything? Anything to get me? No! Oh my gosh, they hit me! Wait, how did that not kill us? Wait, did we actually? Nah. Okay, well, we blocked one of them from pushing quick there. Shoot! Okay, okay. Okay. We got one. This actually makes it, like, infinite times easier. But I'm surprised we tanked those missiles. I feel like definitely did not deserve to uh, get that as we did. Yeah, okay. So the second we got we got it down to, like, less, we're doing way better. Except for the part where, like, they're still able to use their gunners to get me to, like, really low health. But now it's just a 1v1. Okay. We can win a 1v1. I'm just more concerned about the timer now. And we also had to tank through two missiles there. Okay, that should hit. No, it didn't. Okay, are we doing this? Oh, I almost got him. Okay, okay, I have to unpeak, unpeak. I don't think we're going to do this one. This is actually the most I think I've ever struggled on kill list. Like, ever. Do we just, like... Hmm. I don't even know what to do. Well, they are smoking. Okay. Let's uh, put on more body armor. I hate how much body armor I'm having to use here. Okay, we're going in. We're going in. There we go. Okay, we need more body armor. I cannot believe how much body armor I'm using right now. Okay, so we got three minutes to kill this. This should be the Savage, I do believe, which is the strongest one of them all. But it also moves slower, so maybe our homing missiles can actually lock on. Uh, we just got to watch out for the explosive cannon because it's pretty deadly. I tried to free aim that. Oh my gosh, I actually did free aim that. Let's go. It does have some very good uh, maneuverability, though, against me. Not to mention its ability to spam. But we're actually kind of destroying it. When those three helis were able to, like, work together to defeat me, that was, like, the pinnacle of everything. Like, this feels way different already. I don't want to die by them sniping me out, so... Oh, crap. Well, I also don't want to die to, you know, missiles. Okay. Honestly, we, we don't even deserve to have this if we, uh... Oh, gosh, they hit me with the explosive cannon. Like, we've been hit with the explosive cannon. We had, like, two buzzard missiles hit us. Like, the game was just being nice. We should not have had this. Okay. I can't even get an angle on him. Okay. We just gotta take our time. This is actually usually how these fights go. With, uh... With these, at least. The savages. Because it's hard to get at a point where your lock-on missiles will actually lock on correctly. There we go. Okay, Buzzard just has such good machine guns. I don't even know why I bother half the time the other stuff. But we got 24k for that. We uh, ranked up with the RP there. That was actually way harder than I think it ever should have been. I'm a little bit embarrassed on how badly that went. But you know what? At least we did it. At least we finished the mission and got the money. That was the closest I have ever been to failing a kill list. Any kill list. But we gotta get out of here before it explodes. I don't know if you get out if it still explodes. Actually, I think it does. So let's just run over here. But yeah, that is gonna wrap up this episode of On That Grind in GTA Online. 
let me know if you guys are enjoying this series down in the comments. I love to read the comments and I'll try to respond to any uh, questions you guys have or any feedback or anything like that. But I hope to see you all next time. Peace.